Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique energy pistol, namely the Alien Blaster Pistol. You will be wandering the wastelands of Boston and witness something like this. Yes indeed, a crashed UFO. Now there is no specific location or area to trigger this event as you saw my character wasn't even at a location. I was walking along the road in the middle of nowhere. This event only has a chance of occurring after your character hits level 20 and the chances of it occurring are also affected by your character's luck level. So once we see this event we want to go to the crashed UFO site. As we can see on the Pip-Boy map it is to the northwest of Diamond City. It is almost directly north of Vault 81 and when we get in quite close on the map we can see that it is southeast south of the Oberland station. If you still have trouble finding the UFO crash site just look for the flaming trees and weirdly the crashed UFO. Once we do arrive at the crashed UFO site we will find splatterings of green ooze, the spattering of alien blood. If we follow the trail we will continue to find more pools of this green alien life liquid. After a short walk to the north these blood pools will lead us to an unmarked cave. And inside this cave we will find the intergalactic perpetrator who does have a radio next to them. Perhaps they're trying to phone home. Also, judging by the two empty beer bottles on the ground next to this alien, I think he was drinking and driving. Oh, how quickly the crash UFO makes so much more sense. So after giving E.T. a warm earthly welcome on his body, we will find the unique energy pistol, the alien blaster pistol. And also on his body is the ammunition we need to use this gun, the Alien Blaster Rounds. The amount of rounds dropped will fluctuate, but it's always 400 plus. Now before we take a look at the Alien Blaster, I would just like to point out that I have reduced all of my character's special stats to 1, and I also have no bobblehead, magazine, or perk effects applied. With the combination of no effects and minimal stats, we will be getting all of the base stats for the Alien Blaster Pistol. So the unmodded Alien Blaster Pistol's base stats, it has an energy damage of 50 it uses the Alien Blaster rounds, a fire rate of 100, a range of 119, an accuracy of 78, a weight of 2.5, and a value of 1,551. Although the Alien Blaster pistol is quite powerful, the Alien Blaster rounds, the ammunition it uses, are quite rare and in limited supply, which do render the Alien Blaster a rather redundant weapon. And in many players' cases, it ends up being alienated as a weapon choice. When using the Alien Blaster I did find its accuracy was quite poor. The spread is just enough to be an issue when trying to hit targets at a medium to long range. I would just like to point out in Fallout 4's official survival guide it does say this under the topic of the Alien Blaster. And this is a direct quote. This weapon is carried only by aliens so you do well to search any UFO crash sites you spot. Of course with both saying aliens and UFO crash sites would hint towards that this event may trigger more than once. But it's either very carefully worded or very poorly worded. As far as my research tells, this event only triggers once per player character, which does mean each character you create is limited to about 400 alien blaster rounds. So although unmodded it's cool, it's kind of useless. Now let's check out the modded Alien Blaster. Now to apply all of the mods to the Alien Blaster you will need a science perk at anything between science perk rank 2 and science perk rank 4. Now there is one mod in particular that is the saving grace of the Alien Blaster. It is the Fusion Mag mod. As we can read there, reduces damage and ammo capacity, but changes ammo type to fusion cells, which are a common, easily found and bought ammunition type. Although it says it reduces ammunition capacity, when I applied it, it actually took the ammo capacity from 42 all the way up to 63. So although saying it reduces ammunition capacity, it actually increased it by a half. Once again, same deal, no perk, bobblehead or magazine effects applied and all my special attribute skills are set at one. So we will be seeing the base stats. So now the alien Alien Blaster is fully modded out. Its base energy damage is 49, which is actually one less than before it was modded, but this is the price we pay for now being able to use fusion cells as ammunition, which in my opinion is well worth the one point of damage loss. Of course, it now uses fusion cells as ammunition. The fire rate is 100, the same as before modification. The range was 119, but now it's 203. We've almost doubled the range of the weapon. Its accuracy went from 73 all the way up to 87. Its weight increased by one 
1.1 pounds and its value also increased by about 400 caps. Although the damage per shot is not that high and it has been reduced by one single damage, of course we can now use fusion cells so we can actually use it consistently from as soon as we apply the mod until we finish the game, instead of being limited to around 400 alien blaster rounds. Luckily the alien blaster has a very fast firing rate. It's not automatic but it fires just about as fast as you can click the fire button. As mentioned earlier, the unmodded version I was having issues with accuracy and range of the alien blaster, but now after applying mods both of those have been greatly improved, and it actually does make quite a difference. I do believe that the fully modded alien blaster is an actual viable option as a close to medium ranged scoped sharpshooter pistol. One of the overall downsides of the alien blaster is the slow fly time of the projectiles. It's not instantly from your gun to the enemy, it actually flies through the air you can see it traveling, which does make it quite ineffective outside of VATS when firing at targets that are moving from side to side. But the upside is it also doubles as an alien probe. Bend over and I'll share the secrets of the universe with you. And now that you have galactic knowledge, here's the alien blaster pistol in action. I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching, I do hope that this video helped you in regards to acquiring the Alien Blaster Pistol. I also hope that it helped you understand how it can be turned from a relatively useless pistol into something of actual reusable use. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides and walkthroughs, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. Of course this will take you to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you want to watch freely. You can also check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides and walkthroughs that I upload. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very shortly on the Mothership. I'll see you there.